Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a combination of a shovel pour, which can also be a dustpan pour, and then a marble pour. It's a really fun and kind of wacky technique. Uh, it takes some hand coordination, but it's just a super fun one to do. I'm using all mixed media girl pouring paints. These are ready to go right out of the bottle. You don't have to mix them or anything. And I'm using silver, which I don't normally use. So the colors I'm using are white, some Malibu sky, some Pacific blue, silver, and then a limited edition color I have called powder blue steel that has been in some of my recent mystery boxes. And I'm just layering these over and over in my shovel in the same way. The canvas is 16 by 20, so I know that I need to put quite a bit of paint in this shovel to get it all the way across the canvas. To be perfectly honest, the first few times that you do this, you'll probably have either not enough paint or too much paint in your shovel or your dustpan, whichever you're using. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, and even I still sometimes get it wrong. So I would err on the side of putting maybe a little more than you think that you need because you don't have to pour all of the paint in here out. You can, if you have some leftover at the end, you can save it in your shovel and put it into a cup or something like that. Um, and then I start off with a base of paint. In this case, I'm using white, but you could use black or any other color that you'd like. And it takes quite a bit to get a 16 by 20 inch canvas covered. So um, I like to move mine around with my hair dryer. I do this on high air and no heat. And this just gets me a nice and even base. You could use a spatula or tilt it or anything else like that. I've just found that sometimes that it can come out a little bit uneven. So my preferred method is to use the hair dryer. So just get a nice even base on here. You might have to add a little more paint on the corners and the sides to get it fully covered. And then once you do so, go in with your shovel or your dustpan. Now on this, I thought it'd be awesome to do the design from corner to corner. So I'm going diagonally. And this part does take a little bit of practice to not let out too much paint that you run out of paint before you get to the end. And not let out too little paint that you have such a thin design that you're not really happy with. So once again, take some practice. Even I am not that great at it sometimes. But I did this one pretty well. And this design is totally up to you. You can wiggle it back and forth. You can go straight. Whatever you'd like. It's, it's your design. Do it how you'd like. And then I put a marble in the corner and I tilted it. Now this part is really, really fun and also really different. I've seen a lot of people do shovel pours and I've seen a lot of people do marble pours, but the combination of them is actually really awesome. The marble pulls those colors out into whatever your base color is. So in this case, white, and it also pulls that white into your design. So for me, it just adds more interest. It's a little more exciting and I have a lot of fun with it. I like to do kind of like swirls and curly cues and things like that and just move that marble around. Um, don't move this around any more than you want to, you know, make sure that you are happy with the design. And on this, I actually, I um, liked the design on one section, but not, not on another. So I ran the marble off kind of in the middle of tilting it. And then I moved the marble to the section I wasn't happy with and tilted it around a little bit more in that section. So that's totally an option. You don't have to keep moving the marble until you're happy with all the parts of it because you can end up messing up something that you like. If you are happy with part and not another, just take the marble off or run the marble off and then put it back down in another section. So here is this piece wet. I think it looks fantastic. Great lines. This is not a great technique for cells. So if you're going for cells, I would try something like a flip cup or maybe an open cup pour or a funnel pour. But if you'd like lines, either a shovel pour or dustpan pour or a marble pour are great and use them together and it becomes a 
really, really fun technique and design. And a friend of mine pointed out this looks a little bit like some really awesome kind of graffiti art, which I think is so true. And I uh, don't use silver a lot, so I was really happy to use it here. And this is how the piece looks dry hanging up in my house. So maintain that design. Everything dried beautifully. And uh, just really fun technique. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you all next time.